Happy 2022. I'm hoping your year is off to a great start. Today we're going to be whipping up a two weekly night meals that you need to be making under 30 minutes. Yes, you heard correctly. Two weekly night meals under 30 minutes. Let's get into it. Now for our first weeknight dinner meal that's under 30 minutes, it's gonna be a cheesy pasta situation that has a little bacon, mushroom, and all that good stuff in between. First up, let's start off with the pasta. The water is already boiling, and we're gonna be adding in about a teaspoon of salt, and then we're gonna add in our pasta. We're just gonna cook that until al dente, which is gonna be about six to eight minutes. While the pasta is boiling, we're gonna be seasoning our chicken with some paprika, freshly ground black pepper. So now that we've added our spices, we're gonna mix this really well and then head on over to the stove to pan fry it. We're gonna add in one tablespoon of olive oil. We're simply cooking this chicken until it's slightly soft. So this is gonna be about for three to four minutes. And now that it's halfway cooked, we are gonna take it out. The rest of the cooking process is going to be happening during the pasta mixing session. I go back in with a little bit of oil and we're gonna add in our bacon. So we're just gonna cook it until it's slightly crispy. Now that our bacon is cooked, I'm just gonna add it in the same bowl as the chicken just to save up on less dirty dishes. It's a weeknight. Go in with our mushrooms. I'm going to add in just a little bit of olive oil. That hissing sound that the mushrooms are releasing is very good because that means the moisture that they have, they're releasing. So we're just gonna hit them with some salt, pepper, and paprika. Because every single thing that we're having needs to have a layer of flavor. And we're cooking everything that we've browned in here on low heat so that the pan doesn't burn. Now that our mushrooms are ready, we're gonna scoop them out as well and set those aside. And we've been cooking the mushrooms for about two minutes, two to three minutes. Our pasta has boiled until al dente. I'm just going to scoop it out. I'm going to leave the water there mainly because that water has a lot of starch that we're gonna use to help build on the sauce. I'm going to be scooping out some of this pasta water and just pouring it in here. I'm gonna add in the pasta. I'm just gonna scrape off all the good stuff at the bottom. As you can see, it's coming out with ease. I'm turning up the heat just a little bit to medium high, adding in some olive oil into here. Now, because the pasta is not all the way cooked through, I am just allowing for that to happen. And at any point the pan gets dry, I'm gonna be hitting it with the pasta water that's left. So we're gonna go in with the chicken and the bacon. We're also gonna go in with our mushrooms and some of this reserved pasta water. going to toss everything together and we are going to start adding in our cheese so we're just tossing everything so that the cheese gets to know everything as well and we're just going to keep adding the cheese until we get it to the cheesy state we like if you do not have cheese you can completely omit on it as well However, as you can see, things are looking very delicious. Now we've been cooking things on really low heat and this is about four minutes of cooking everything on low heat. Anytime things were getting sticky a little bit, I would add in a little bit of water and just like that, our meal is ready. 
now we're on to our second weeknight meal that takes 30 minutes. This might take less though. I know the ingredients seem like they're much, however, they come together really well. We have some cauliflower here, especially for those of you who are looking to hit low carb meals. This is a really great warm salad for you. So we have cauliflower, we have red bell pepper, we have half a sweet corn. I highly recommend using sweet corn. We have avocado dania, which is cilantro titties we have a chicken titty that we're using we have paprika we have black pepper we have garlic powder and onion powder garlic powder and onion powder are optional um if you intend on using either or now first things first we're gonna be throwing this into our pot in order to start boiling now while that the sweet corn is boiling we're gonna be taking our cauliflower right over here and we're just gonna season it it's very important we do that we're going to start things off by hitting this with a little bit of olive oil. We're going to go in with salt, paprika, and just a hint of um, black pepper. Not forgetting our garlic powder and onion powder. And we're just going to mix everything really well. We just need to ensure all the cauliflower is well coated with the spices and we need the paprika to give this really good color so don't even try to play yourself on that but onto our chicken titty we're just gonna be making a few piercings so that the flavor completely penetrates through i'm gonna hit this with some olive oil this with some paprika black pepper and salt as well going to rub the spices in and now let's head on over to the stove and start cooking time to hear the magical sound fantastic I'm just tossing these around so we can get a char everywhere and if you do not have a grill tray you can still use a pan I just enjoy the char that is provided when I use this grilling tray. So we've boiled our corn until it's soft. We're just gonna add it onto our tray right here. And we just wanted to get some grill marks as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and move these to the side like so. Because this is the hottest side of the pan, I'm gonna be taking our chicken titty and placing it onto the grilling tray to cook for about two to three minutes on each side. I'm just gonna go ahead and flip this. It's been about five minutes. I'm taking out the chicken to rest and it's time to assemble everything together. So we're just gonna shave the sweet corn Next, we're gonna be cutting up our chicken breast and place it in our plate. We're gonna take the sweet corn and do the same thing as well. So we have like a little nice bowl here. Red bell peppers and place them here. We're gonna take our dania cilantro, place it like so. We're gonna cut it open. It's not a beautiful avocado. You can just feel it. Boom! Really nice slices like so. I'm just gonna scoop it out. And we're gonna place it like so. So we're gonna go and serve up our chicken pasta mushroom bacon situation. Now, I'm very torn on what I need to taste. I'm gonna taste them both. <laughs> My mouth is already watering. <laughs> Ooh, my most favorite part of the job. Mm. Mm. I've never met a moist, tender titty that I have never loved. Mmm. <laughs> That is delicious. Oh my God. 
onto our cauliflower meal. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. The char, the paprika, mm. so tender, so crunchy still. I don't know if you can hear me. <laughs> and then onto our moist chicken. Mm. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Compose yourself, Mandy. Mm. Our cauliflower, sweet corn, red pepper, chicken, avocado situation. The cauliflower takes about 15 minutes to cook. The chicken takes about about four minutes to five minutes to cook. That's already 20 minutes. And the best part is this, if you prep ahead, you can be able to ace both of these meals with ease, with ease. Nobody coming for you, boo. So I wanna hear from you. Do you wanna see more of these weekly night meals under 30 minutes? Leave a comment below, like this video, share it with somebody who's gonna really love these two recipes. In the meantime though, I hope you're gonna keep eating delicious in 2022, baby. Mm.